Now I'm sure that you clicked this video because you want to know how you can get thicker. I actually didn't click the video to find out how I can get thicker. I clicked the video to find out why people are so stupid. Coach Greg, and today I have the craziest topic. It's all about how to get thick. I'm going to go and I watched the video already. It's gonna be so funny because it's insane. I thought that my subs were morons. My subs are genius level compared to these subs. I can't even believe that this is happening. This is crazy. And there's so much of it going on in the internet. It's like some big thing. It's the get thick movement. I don't understand it. I can't believe it. I, I just, okay, let's just start. I am not a dietitian. I'm not a counselor. I'm not getting thick either. There's this girl, her name is Sonus Love, okay? Sonus Love, she's famous! 400 and some thousand subscribers. This video, How to Get Thick, has 300 and some thousand views. 300 and something thousand people were brainwashed by this video. It's unbelievable. I can't even explain it. When you see it, it gets better and better and better as you go. It's the dumbest thing I've ever seen on the internet ever. And I'm going to explain why. And I'm going to just break it down. Okay. So let's, okay, wait, from, start with what is getting thick? What does it mean? Okay. This is what it means. Really getting thick means to become obese or fat, but in a hot way in a cool looking way, in a way that the boys are gonna like it and probably a lot of the girls too, whatever. Now, so to do that, you need a small waist, right? This tiny little waist. And you need a big booty, big boobs, and like hips. So what did we call that when I was a kid nine years ago? Hourglass figure. We called it curvy. If I was a kid and called a girl thick, I would have got slapped in the face. I don't, how old am I? Am I, I might be 198. I don't get this. Getting thick now is a compliment. Hey girl, you look thick. We used to get slapped in the face for saying that. She's going to explain how to get thick. You're gonna not believe this. Like, don't even, if you're doubting the, vid the video yet, you're gonna not believe it. It's shocking. It's like, did she get paid to do this and to say these things and it gets better and better and just wait for it because it is insane. Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. Now I'm sure that you clicked this video because you want to know how you can get thicker. I actually didn't click the video to find out how I can get thicker. I clicked the video to find out why people are so stupid. I fully thought that this was an April Fool's joke and the joke and I'm like, this is a paid actress and she's just being funny, but it ended up being real. I'm gonna show you guys a picture before and then I'm gonna show you guys a picture after. Okay, so in the before picture, she's got no makeup. She's just standing there. It's a random picture. In the after photo, she's standing, twisted, full makeup, hair done, set, intergram, puffy lips, per, twist, quack, boobs, plucked up. Put your chest, arms under the boob, push up, turn, twist, tilt, and make sure the lighting's perfect, and take 5,000 photos, post best photo. Look at me, my before and after. Yay, got thicker, wow. Now just a disclaimer, no matter what size or shape you are, all shapes are beautiful. All shapes are sexy, and all body types are amazing, and don't judge a book by its cover, and we're all perfect in our own skin, and love us to death, and let's all do that. But let's get into how to get thicker. Don't forget to like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. And make sure you guys click the notification bell just so you guys can be alerted every time that I post. Oh my god, is that all I have to do? Do all I have to do is make videos on how to get thicker and I get all these subs? This could be so easy. Man, hey, video number one, let's eat some more peanut butter and fast food and get thicker. So, tip number one, I would definitely say that this tip is very important because. It's all about your mental as well as your physical. It is to be happy, you guys. Honestly, that's when I figured out that I gained my most weight is when I was like super happy. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. Do, 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 do. 
it was a song back in the day. So they knew back when I was a kid, the secret to getting thicker is to be happy. And honestly, it is a fact that like happiness makes you gain weight. I mean, I guess if that's true, then unhappiness helps you lose weight. So all we gotta do is have our boyfriends and girlfriends break up with us, get miserable, and all get ripped and skinny. And then I know we get really happy like Christmas time or someone gives us a present, we get like super fat. Why are people saying, oh, I ate a lot of Hagen dazs and, and I'm emotional eater. Does that mean that they are happy? Um, are emotional eaters happy? That's why they emotionally eat? No. From what I remember, people will say, oh, you know, I get depressed and I eat a bunch of stuff. and I make So it's in fact the opposite of what she just said. I don't get it. She's literally saying this. I noticed when I was more happier and energetic, it definitely did make me gain weight. It made her more energetic. So it increased her neat, non-exercise activity thermogenesis. She had more energy, so it made her gain more weight. It's the opposite. It is the opposite. So step one is don't listen to step one. If you're active and burning off more calories, you're gonna get thinner. Calorie deficit. If you're in a surplus, you gain weight to get thicker. If you're in a deficit, you get less thicker. Tip number two is definitely to watch your diet. If you're more on the skinnier side, I would definitely advise you to eat more carbs and calories. I literally thought she was gonna say something as stupid as like, you have to watch the foods that you eat with your eyes or something stupid. Because I'm thinking this is a joke video to this point because I'm not believing this. It's watch your diet. So if you're skinny, make sure you eat more carbs and calories. So she does know that it's more calories. It doesn't have to be more carbs. It could be more fat. It could be more protein. It's more calories to get you in a surplus because that's how you gain weight. Okay, so at least she has it somewhat correct. You need more calories. I definitely need to work on that myself, but an advice would be to also eat a lot of healthy foods. So I can't really just sit here and say, oh my God, I am such a gym head. I eat healthy 24 seven, cause I don't. Well, <laughs> more, eat healthy foods, but I, I'm gonna be honest, I don't. I just eat more junk food. I eat fast food. She's literally saying it. So she doesn't even listen to her own advice. And that's what worked for her. So she's like, yeah, this is my transformation. This is what you should do. Be happy and eat a lot more calories and carbs and it should be healthy, but I just ate junk food. So really, if, if, if it really worked for her, you should do what she did, which would then be to eat more junk food. But really it's just a calorie surplus that works, right? I mean, are you, do you even believe this so far? This is the first two steps. I'm thinking it's April Fools. I'm like trying to look at the date published, but it's not, it's, it's not April Fools. Personally, I do eat a lot of fast food, but it helped me gain weight. So I don't know if that's, I don't know. It definitely did help me gain weight, but it can also make you gain a healthy weight, if that makes sense. No, we don't actually know what you're talking about. Now, I'm gonna guess that she's maybe saying if you eat a lot of junk food, you're gonna gain more fat than muscle maybe, and that muscle weight is better, but she doesn't say that at all. She doesn't even hint that that's it. And she says, you know, I eat a lot of peanut butter, peanut butter sandwiches, certainly it's high calorie dense. And then she's like, well, here's a healthy snack, apples with peanut butter. So she's doing better. That's definitely more healthy than the other alternatives, but you also need that calorie surplus to gain the weight. Make sure you do your research on calories and carbs and like what is healthy and what is unhealthy. And once you've done your research, you can put all those into your diet and figure out what works best for you. So we're watching her video on how to do this and she's saying to us, just go like, maybe just go watch other videos on how to do this. <laughs> I mean, we, that's why we're watching your video. I, it's, it's just insane. It'd be like, if I did a video on how to lose weight for summer and tip number one, go watch other videos on how to lose weight for the summer. Number two, eat healthy food. I don't know what healthy food is. Tip number three, Maybe exercise. Go research if you should. What? Give us some real tips. If you are looking for like a more flatter stomach, do not eat at night. Because it's about being thicker. That's like fat in the waist and the boobs, not in the stomach. Major, don't forget this everyone. This is important. Don't eat at night. Because if you eat at night, that, that weight is for your stomach. If you want a flat stomach, you don't eat at night. So. 
what does that mean? That means that we need to eat our calories in the morning, in the afternoon, and early evening, but not at night because at night is bad because we want a small stomach. But every other time in the day, it's good? What? I mean, I was expecting maybe like don't eat breakfast or something because then you wake up in the morning, have a flat stomach and eat at night when no one's going to see you and then you keep your waist flat. Like if I was doing a video on it, I'd at least be like, hey, hey, babe, we're doing a video on how to get thicker. <laughs> babe, if you want to get thicker, do not eat at night. Eat in the morning and afternoon. That's the best time. It's the best time. We're learning here. This girl's a genius. Their next tip is to work out. So go to the gym and make it a habit. That makes sense. That's a good tip. I actually agree with that one. So she does know something because if you have more muscle, you know, you work your glutes, get more muscle in the glutes, then the fat that's covering the glutes is going to get bigger. And then if you're in the gym, maybe you can work your shoulders and you can get the hourglass shape, the wide shoulders. When I was a kid, the girls used to wear padded bras. I used to make fun of them. I shouldn't have. It's probably bullying. Like, why are you dressed up like a football player, I would say? Why are you wearing shoulder pads? Why are your shoulders wider than mine? All these girls walking around like figure models. Back, and this is before, this is the old days. There was no internet back then. Girls would wear padded sport. Babe, did you wear a padded sports bra when you were a kid? Shoulder pad bra. Babe, a shoulder pad, you're talking about two different things. The, the. I, no. You guys know what I'm talking about. These a pad gross. on your shoulders that make you look like you're a football yeah, player. Did you wear that when you were a kid? It's a it's they a wore pad. bras, and on the top, she's younger than me by six years, so she might not remember. No, I remember. So, did you wear them or not? No. She did not wear them. See, I'm very old. When I was a kid, the girls all dressed up like football players. They were in grade eight, and they all had bigger shoulders than me. And I was like, what is going on? It's a true story. I'm not making this stuff up. Workout. I know a lot of people hate working out. I even hated it myself. I've actually been going for a couple of months now. She said, you know, my before and after transformation, look how I did it. And then she's like, yeah, and I've been going to the gym now for two months. After the transformation happened, everything she says contradicts the other thing. So she got her transformation, which was BS picture before and after. And then she doesn't even train for this. She says to eat healthy, to be happy. She's not eating healthy, she's eating junk food. She says to work out, but she didn't until after. And she's saying, yeah, it's great, and I used to hate it. I don't do super heavy weights because I'm not trying to be buff, but I do tone my body a little bit. Heavy weights doesn't equal mass, even for men or women, it's not how it works. She's not talking about time under tension or reps to failure or how hard you're training. Nothing related, not volume, not rest freak, just heavy weights. Stupid myth that even a lot of guys think because a lot of guys will hire me and they're like, yeah, man, I do like five sets of five to get big. And I'm like, that's for strength more than size. So another myth perpetuated. So all these people, 327,000 people, it says, have watched this, are idiots. And then maybe that's what happens to my channel. Maybe some of the people that watch this video, they didn't watch my video and they're all brainwashed by these other videos. And so they're stupid to start with. And then when they watch mine, they have a, an incorrect kind of like background of information that has to be brainwashed first. I have to wipe it with like, wipe it, wax on, wax off, get rid of it. And then I can re-throw in information into the brain and it absorbs. And then after 300 or so of my videos, you're not stupid anymore. Need to drink lots of water, okay? That is important. How does that help you get thick exactly? Is that gonna increase fat storage in the hips? Is there a special fat? <laughs> what is going on with water that's gonna make you especially have a small waist and bigger hips and bigger boobs? That's what being thicker looks, that's, what, that's how you get thick. Water's not gonna do that. Sure, it's good if I drink a lot of water. How much water? Well, my advice, if you're peeing about every two hours or so, then that's like ideal. That's like awesome. If you're like only peeing like say every four or five hours, you're a little bit dehydrated, you can drink a bit more. She's not giving you how much water or how to know. She just drink a lot of water. Why? I just think you should. I'm no expert at the gym. You know, I have my issues too. I'm not really advanced in that. It's more obvious that I have to point out that I'm not a doctor than she has to point out she's not an expert in the gym. She just said she joined the gym two weeks, two months ago, and she trains five days a week, which is every day, and she just 
focuses on her bum and her abs, and that's to get thick. And she doesn't train with low reps. She does lightweight for high reps. We needed her to point out that she's not a gym expert. Really? And it's good because while I'm eating, I'm also working out. It's making me thicker, but it's also maintaining it, you know? Like, it's also giving it... I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it's making your body toner. She says that the training with the food, it's like, it's, it's making you thicker and it, the gym is maintaining, it's maintaining it. But she, she doesn't know how to explain it. So that's how she explained it. You got to go to the gym to maintaining it. The thickerness-ishness. Okay. That made sense, right? That's, that's her advice. I said it better than her, in fact, actually, even though I sound like an idiot. It was better said than she said it. Wearing a waist trainer while at the gym definitely does help mold your stomach better, and it definitely does keep it more compact while you're working out, and it also makes it sweat more, which is a good thing. If you guys sweat at the gym a lot, that's a great thing. It makes you sweat more, which is a good thing, because if you sweat more, it's a good thing at the gym, because it's a good thing. You sweat more. No, it's not a good thing. You don't need to sweat. A sweat is not a measure of how much a good exercise workout you have. Oh, I'm going to wear five sweaters and go to the gym and I'll sweat a lot. You just sweat a lot. It doesn't help you like build muscle or make a waist trimmer. It's just stupid. It makes no sense. Come on. Sweating is the body cooling down. That's it. That's all it's doing. It's not some magic growth device or make you fat in the right place and lose fat in the wrong place and make you hourglass? No! You can't achieve a flatter stomach without waist trainers, but waist trainers just help you get more of that hourglass shape when you're working out. Of course it's gonna work! It's like wearing those, what are they called, the freaking screams or grandma panties or squirms? And it squishes all your fat together. Squeams! Yes! I remember the name. Squeams! I I think it squeams. Anyway, it tight it squeezes everything in the right places. So it's like wearing a push-up bra. You wear the padded bra, then you go like that to the gym. You wear the, the, the suction thing here, the what's it called? The waist trainer. And then the hips, you wear the squeam and it squeezes all the stuff. And then you wear the 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 the, the, the you gotta get the gym shark thing with the, the scrunchy bum where it crawls up your butthole and then it squeezes inside your asshole like this, and then your cheeks can stick out more. And then you walk with a bit of an arch, okay? And stick your chest out. And so you walk around like this to the gym with the sucked in and out. And then you hold your lips like this, like you're giving a blow job. And then that's how you get attention. That's what you do, girls. And that's how you post your pictures on Instagram to get more likes. By perverted men that want to have sex with you. Not anyone that cares, okay? I've watched some of these other thick girls. They're like 7 million followers on Instagram, and then they go on YouTube, and there's like 300,000 followers. You know you're not really that smart, or and it's mostly based on your looks. When you got way more followers on Instagram than you do on YouTube, because people on YouTube are tending to learn and watch and learn from you. On Instagram, it's click, click, and if it can't be seen in five seconds, it's on to the next one. And it's quick, oh, hot booty, shake your ass, hot booty, shake your bum, yep. That's what people are doing. You have all these subscribers, not because they think you're awesome and smart, it's because they want a quick porn fix in the morning. That's literally what's happening here. Okay, so one of my very last tips is a very important tip, and it is to stop drinking soda, y'all. I can't wait to discover why we have to give up soda. She's like, I like soda. I completely cut that out. I don't drink that anymore. I tend to just um, replace it with a lot of juices, like lemonade and stuff like that. I just replace the Pepsi, the Sprite, the Dr. Pepper, all that. You guys need to stop drinking soda because if you do, that's definitely going to make you gain weight in the wrong places. This is amazing. It's literally amazing. I mean, the male equivalent would be, hey guys, I have a brand new video. Eat these five foods to get cat delts and huge biceps. Eat these five foods if you want to get a big chest. So broccoli and cauliflower is for the delts and bananas and apples are for the chest. Now, if I want to be a bazillionaire, I will discover what do I eat to make my dick get bigger? Oh, these three foods increase the girth of your cock. 
Is this what the world's coming to? Do people believe this? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to like, comment, most importantly, subscribe. Bye, lovelies. So subscribe and like the bell button. What do you think? Is she a, a crazy lunatic? Is she for real? Was this a joke video? I'm gonna make more of these. This thickness thing is insane, okay? Blooping up another video over here. I go bloop another video there. Please watch them. GregDuset.com for coaching, okay? I won't coach you to get thick. I'll coach you to look good, though. And Greg Duset, IFBB Pro, that's Instagram. And until next time, I am out.